Hello and welcome to a new lesson of Learn Arabic with AJ. We are still covering all the basics that beginners need in order to read and write. In the last lesson, we had a practice on how to join letters in order to make up words. Today we are going to have a practice on how to split words into letters and syllables. Also, we are going to learn about colors. Are you ready? Let's start. A Fa, r, asfar, asfar, yellow. A, kh, da, r, akhdar, akhdar, green. A, h, ma, r, ahmar, ahmar, red. Bu, r, tu, ka, a, l, e. Burtukali, Burtukali, orange. Ra, m, a, d, e. Ramadi, Ramadi, gray. Ba, na, f, sa, j, e. Banafsaji, Banafsaji, purple. A, b, ya, d, abyad. Abyad, white. A, s, wa, d, aswad, aswad, black. A, z, ra, q, azraq, azraq, blue. Bu, n, i, bunni, bunni, brown. Wa, r, d, E. Wardi, wardi, pink. Another word for pink is zahri. Zahri, zahri, also pink. Fat, eh, fatih, fatih means light, and we use it with colors. R, a, M, ق, غامق, غامق, dark, and we use it also with colors. It's very important to know that colors in Arabic are considered to be adjectives, and all adjectives follow nouns in Arabic. Let's have a look at these examples. Mishmish, Mishmish, Burtukali, Burtukali, orange. Apricot. Bab, aswad. Bab, aswad. A black door. Malab, akhdar. Malab, akhdar. A green stadium. Bahar, azraq. Bahar, azraq. A blue sea. Namir, wardi. Namir, wardi. A pink panther. Dub bunni. Dub bunni. A brown bear. Azraq is an adjective. Fatih is also an adjective. Here we have two adjectives after each other just to give the degree of the color. Azraq fatih is a light blue. Azraq fatih. Another example. Asfar Ramik Asfar Ramik also two adjectives after each other. The first one is Asfar yellow and the second one is Ramik which means dark. Let's now add some verbs to the previous examples. Ana Uhibu Namir Wardi. I like a pink panther. Ana Ara Dub bunni. I see a black bear. Ana akulu mishmish burtukali. I eat orange apricot. Nahnu narsum bab aswad. We draw a black door. Nahnu nalab fi malab akhdar. 
We play in a green stadium. أنا أسبح في بحر أزرق. I swim in a blue sea. Now when we read in Arabic, we don't read letter by letter, but we use syllables. Keep in mind that all Arabic words start with a letter that has haraka on top. Dhamma, kasra, or fatha, but not sukun, which is the silent letter. A syllable could consist of one, a letter which has a short vowel on top or under it, like the verb kataba. This word has three syllables, ka, ta, ba. Number two, a letter with short vowel and with the next consonant letter, like the word asfar, asfar. This word has two syllables. As, far, as, far. Number three, a letter with a long vowel after it, like the word wadi. This word has two syllables. Wa, di, wa, di. The best way to read and write in Arabic is to divide the words into syllables. Let's have some examples from the colors. As, Far, as, far, two syllables. Ach, dar, ach, dar, two syllables. Ah, mar, ah, mar, two syllables. Bur, tu, ka, li, bur, tu, ka, li, four syllables. Ra, ma, di, ramadi. Three syllables. Ba, naf, sa, ji. Ba, naf, sa, ji. Four syllables. Bu, ni. Bunni. Bunni. Two syllables and so on. Keep on practicing and cut the words into syllables. My advice for today is to keep on practicing on making syllables of words. This is going to help a lot. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, subscribe, like and share and click on the link below in order to test your understanding of today's lesson. Shukran wa ma'a salama.